Hey guys, so I'm going to make this really, really quick because I've got to go somewhere, even though my am not sure. Anyway, so this is my review of the Mortal Instruments City of Bones. I have not read the book, so this will be totally fresh, and yeah. So anyway, um, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was really good. Um, I thought all the actors did a good job, but um, going into the movie, there was only three characters I really cared about, and that was Magnus, Simon, and Jake, because I... I I guess I should say that I read half the book, but then I stopped reading it for some reason, I can't remember. But I got to like chapter 14 and then I stopped reading, so I got halfway through. But, you know, those were the three characters I cared about, and for the most part the actors did a good job. Um, Godfrey, who played Magnus, I felt he did a good job, but I feel like there were quite a bit of times where he came off very stiff and as he was just saying lines like he was actually being Magnus which really made me sad because I remember when I saw pictures of him I'm like oh my god he's perfect he l literally looks like Magnus it's perfect perfect casting so hopefully he'll get better in City of Ashes we shall see um Robert Sheehan as Simon perfect perfect casting is perfect he did phenomenal and I, I did kind of giggle sometimes because I could sometimes hear Robert's accent slip out, but that wasn't a big deal. It's still good. Um, and then Jamie Campbell Bauer as Jace. Perfect. Once again, perfect casting is perfect. Um, I still don't understand why some people don't like him as Jace, because personally for me, he's, per he's exactly how I pictured Jace. Except, you know, a little less muscular. I did picture Jace a little more muscular, but, you know, I still love him as Jace, and he did a phenomenal job. Lily Collins as Clary, I don't know what it is, I just don't think I'm a fan of Lily Collins acting, really. I mean, she wasn't horrible, but I just didn't really care about Clary. Like I said, I cared more about Simon and Jason than I did Clary, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, but, yeah, um, I really did enjoy it. I'm most definitely going to buy it when it comes out on DVD. Like I said, I wasn't sitting there all judgmental like I was when I went to see Beautiful Creatures, which, that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm probably going to start this thing where I don't read the books till after I see the movie because I want to sit there and enjoy a movie and not sit there and nitpick like I did with Beautiful Creatures. And also it'll be easier for me to tell the differences after I see the movie than I read the book. But yeah, like I said, overall I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it to anyone. Whether you read or whether you have read or haven't read City of Bones, I think anyone could really enjoy this. It's it's nothing like Twilight or Harry Potter, like I've been seeing reviewers compare it to. It's nothing like it. Um, there's only one scene where I guess you could say, oh, that's kind of Twilight esque, and it, it's really cliche. And it's in the greenhouse, there's rain and kissing, and uh, yeah. But, um,. Oh, I will say, the only other thing I didn't like about it, there was one thing I didn't like about the movie, and that's that they actually had the songs from their soundtrack in the movie. I felt like it just didn't work well with the movie, having the songs from the soundtrack. Like, especially, in, like I was saying, the greenhouse scene, whatever the hell you want to call it. They played Demi Lovato's song during that scene, and I was just like, no, this just makes it even more cliche, and eh, no, go away song. So, yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad song, I do like the song that Demi has for the soundtrack, I just don't think it should have been played in the movie. But, yeah, so, I gotta go, but let's talk down below what you thought of the movie, and yeah, so like, favorite, comment, subscribe, until next time.